Yo, what is good, everybody? <laughs> Once again, we are back with another tutorial. And this one is, um, it's going to go along with the tutorial that I just did installing Visual V. Again, that's just the graphics enhancer. Um, so if you've watched that video, you noticed in the side by side comparison after Visual V was installed, the nighttime visuals it seemed extremely dark. The uh, everything was enhanced in terms as the colors being sharper, brighter, but it also deepened the darkness at nighttime. So there's also um, a mod to brighten that specifically for Visual 5. So here we are on that page. Again, this will be linked down in the description as well. Um, but ultimately, we'll just go ahead and go through a quick install of this, and then we'll do another side-by-side -side comparison to Visual 5 and uh, see what kind of improvements um, it makes or how bright how much brighter <laughs> it makes nighttime on Visual 5 because that is one thing that I noticed immediately even before doing the side-by-side -side comparison is how dark the night looked <laughs> and then um, and then it's it's real cool I hadn't actually seen the side-by-side uh, -side comparison like that before um, I'm sure there are other videos out there I just haven't came across them but when you uh, really put them side by side, you can see the big difference that just Visual 5 alone makes. Of course, there's other uh, things to go along with Visual 5 to Visual Visual 5 or Visual V, I guess. Um, but Visual or V is Roman numeral for number five. So I always see it as Visual 5, but I guess it's technically Visual V. Um, anyways, Visual V alone adds quite um, a lot to to the graphics uh, sharpens the graphics quite a bit those the colors are real vibrant especially during the day um, but the side-by-side -side comparison you can really see that I don't think it's as noticeable when you're playing you know the before and after um, but when you put them side by side like that you can really tell so I thought that was pretty cool to uh, to experience and see for the first time um, Again, I'm not saying that I'm the first one to ever do that. <laughs> I doubt that I I am, but I hadn't actually seen it side by side like that. Uh, but anyways, so we're going to go ahead and in install Brighter Night for Visual V. And then I'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll put them side by side to see uh, how much of a difference it makes. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the description. Now, this is in beta. So we might run into some difficulties with it since it is in beta, but honestly, um, it doesn't look like, I'm sure the comments would be flooded if there was a lot of problems with it. So So yeah, well, it looks like there is a specific path. Well, let's let's start the download because in the description, it doesn't really give us a um, a path for the install. So let's let's download it and see if if there's one like a readme file or something along those lines. This I haven't I've never used this before, so okay. Well. Looks like it's a bunch of XML documents, so are these going to be installed in scripts and time cycle mods? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, there certainly is not a lot of information uh, here, but in the comments, somebody did 
list a path. So in time cycle. Uh, looks like some people are uninstalling it. Super high in contrast. Okay, well, I'm assuming that this is going to be done through OpenIV, so let's go ahead. Well, not assuming, it says right there. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and start up OpenIV. And let's take a look. So we go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, time cycle. Okay. So it's just replacing all of these files here within time cycle. So I noticed that a lot of people are looking to uh, revert it back to the old ones so this is why we install things in the mod folder so if we were to actually follow this path outside of the mod folder and just install it on the game itself then we wouldn't be able to uh, replace these files but since we're in the mod folder if i replace these files if i want to get these back i can actually do so through the by going back to the main gta directory um, and then actually like let's, this is just for example, um, you would actually have to do this in OpenIV, but see here we're in the main GTA 5 directory. So if I wanted to in, in, um, in OpenIV, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, I could go back to this same path, but in the main game folder, instead of the mods folder, and copy these files right back over to to get it back uh, to where we want it to be. Or you could even just do the whole time cycle uh, folder. So, I mean, I guess I, I could even show you. If, so like if we were to go here. So see earlier we were in the mods folder, but if we follow these steps outside of the mods folder, so we go to update, update.rpf, common, data, we have the same, the original time cycle files here. Um, this is what I love about OpenIV. It's letting us know, hey, you're not in the mods folder. You better double check what you're doing <laughs> because if we replace something outside of the mods folder here, that's gonna replace the actual files for the game. So right now these are the original files. So we can always take these and move them back into our mods folder or replace the mods folder altogether. So there is a way to revert it back um, if if we need to uh, so i'm going to go ahead and uh, proceed on with the install and we'll test it out to see if it does or if i experience those same issues um, i'm wondering if maybe some of these players or uh, users have something else installed that may be affecting it as well All right, so let's uh let's get the install started here. So we're back in my mods folder, and then we're gonna go back to update, back to common, back to data, and time cycle. Now these files, I'm assuming, well, not assuming, but. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I am going to extract them over to my desktop. Writer notes. And sometimes I just get typing too fast and hit all kinds of extra letters. <laughs> well, I'll fix that later. It's not a big deal. Okay. So let's highlight all these and drag and drop. Boom. 
installed. All right, so I'll go ahead and boot up GTA 5 and we'll take a look to see how much brighter the night is <laughs> with visuals, visual V, brighter nights installed. All right. Oh, yeah, we are in the game now. So, oh, yeah, I could tell immediately off the bat. <laughs> the night is definitely brighter. That looks good. The night is brighter, but it looks like it still keeps the color correction, the, uh, the sharpness, and the the pop of color. So, you know, so far so good. <laughs> um, you know, I think maybe some people that may have been having some troubles, maybe they have potentially something else installed. Um, I know one of the comments did mention Redux being installed. So, um, but honestly, I'm liking this. Of course, you know, I'll play with it a few times and see if there's anything strange or out of the ordinary. But for the most part, I like this. I, I think it works. It's working good <laughs> so far. Um, but it looks really good. It, it doesn't diminish the graphics in any way. And it just kind of brightens up things that I care. So, as you can see with the side-by-side -side comparison, I really think this is... A must install if you have Visual V. Unless you like the darkness of the night, I mean, I guess some people do. <laughs> but if you want to brighten it up a little bit, then definitely go this way. Cool. So with that being said, right there. Ah, his spinal's alright, but. He's still going to get home, get some sleep, <laughs> wake up tomorrow, make some more money. So I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you on the next video. All right. Peace.